What's going on guys? Very tall Midget here bringing you some Black Ops 3 information that has finally, finally leaked out, gone out, it's public. Alpha testers can now spill the beans on shit that they've got. So, with that aside, in the background you can see some Advanced Warfare Kill Confirm gameplay on Urban. I'm going to have a smash up of a game using my ASM1 Speak Easy. What a surprise. Usual loadout. Lightweight, low profile, blind eye, blast, suppressor, and scavenger with a UAV with support, threat detector, and uh, scrambler. So, Black Ops 3 trailer is here. It confirms some theories. It proves wrong some of the other theories. I made a video about a potential leak with Black Ops 3 having time travel. Based upon the trailer, it does not seem that is going to be true. Anyway, let's dive into the Black Ops 3 information. For me, most importantly, the campaign is finally going to have four player co-op that you can progress through seamlessly going in and out of the campaign just like Halo 3, just like Halo 4, where you'll have AI squad members at your side at all time, and people will be able to drop in and out using those roles. Um, it might not seem big for you because people are going to say, oh, the campaign's been so easy on veteran and blah, blah, blah. It has, but you know what? Running through the campaign now with three friends on veteran, that's, that's cake. Um, especially if there's a level up progression system. Speaking of level up progression system, let's talk about zombies. Zombies are confirmed to be in Black Ops 3 and it is confirmed that there's going to be a level up and progression system getting unlocks, new rewards. Um, I haven't seen it personally, but I'm going to assume that it's on the lines of Extinction-esque from Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I know we've tried to erase Ghosts from our memory, um, but Extinction Mode was probably the only fun thing multiplayer-wise about that game. Moving along. Confirm. Theater Mode. Theater Mode. Um, not Vondahar, the other um, head studio, head Treyarch. Uh, somebody asked if Theater Mode was going to be in Black Ops 3, and apparently he looked at him and said, um, hello, this is Treyarch. So, without actually saying there's going to be Theater Mode, it's pretty much confirmed there's going to be Theater Mode, because Treyarch introduced it in Call of Duty Black Ops, they brought it back in Black Ops 2, and it is now going to be in Black Ops 3, and I'm sure there's going to be even more wild things you can do in Theater Mode with the next gen. Speaking of next gen, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but I heard and I'm pretty sure that Black Ops 3 is only going to be on PS4 and Xbox One. You heard it right here, only PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, I guess they're trying to motivate people to buy new consoles. I really don't know, nor do I care, because I own both systems. If you don't own an X-Gen console by now, you're probably a little kid that has to rely on their parents to get them stuff. Anyway. So. The biggest thing for Black Ops 3 multiplayer, the question, was there going to be an advanced movement system like the EXO from Advanced Warfare. Well, we have 100% confirmation that there will be advanced movement, and it's called the thrust jump and the thrust abilities. Uh, no, it's not sexual thrusting, sorry. Uh, it is kind of reminiscent of Destiny, of what I've heard. Um, if anybody's played Destiny, if you're familiar with the Titan class, when you double jump, you kind of did that little thrust gliding through the air. They kind of really put you at a disadvantage. So if that's the kind of movement that's in multiplayer, I think I'm going to be alright with that. Because Destiny, I, I love Destiny. Not so much a fan of the PvP action in Destiny, but it's tolerable from time to time. And by tolerable, I mean two or three games at most before I want to put my foot 
through the TV. Not so much because of the game, but because of other players, just like Call of Duty. Starting to ramble, let's get back on topic. Um, with Call of Duty Black Ops 3, there's the specialist loadouts now that are all seem like they're, they're, they're classes. Not that it's going to be class-specific warfare, uh, like Battlefield, and, you know, about how Battlefield does that, the Medic, the Engineer, and that stuff. Um, they're, they're introducing these classes that have slightly different um, Battlefield abilities. So, a lot of the movement, from what I'm reading from early alpha testing, is that... It's going to have Titanfall-ish wall running. But from my head, excuse me, I'm yawning. Um, it's not going to be complete like Titanfall, where every part of the map you could parkour. Um, that's not the case. At least what I heard from the first three playable maps that we're seeing, there's only a couple areas where you can actually parkour and free run and all that stuff. Um, what was it, the maps that they said, or no, the, the specialists were, so far they revealed a ruin specialist called a fearless infantry soldier with gravity spikes weapon that creates an area of effect attack and overdrive ability which gives them a burst of speed. The Seraph is a crime member syndicate with the Annihilator weapon, a high caliber revolver, and the combat focus ability, which triggers a bonus multiplier towards score streaks. The Outrider, she has a bow called a Sparrow and a vision pulse ability that pings the surrounding area and tags location of all enemies. And there's a Reaper, an experimental war robot with a scythe arm that transforms into a minigun and the glitch ability which allows it to flash back to a previous position. That sounds pretty cool. And the first three maps that have been revealed are Combine, which is described as a vertical farming and sustainability research facility in the remote Egyptian Sahara. Hunted, a big game hunting lodge situated beneath a waterfall in the lush mountains of Ethiopia. And last is Stronghold, high-tech Swiss Chateau in the frozen mountainous Alps. Also, huge news in regards to player customization. Treyarch revealed the Gunsmith, which is an all-new weapon customization system that will let you add up to five attachments. Five attachments, people, to a weapon. Now, more importantly, it will let you create and apply custom paint camos to your gun. For the first time ever in Call of Duty history, we're going to have customized gun camos. I don't know, you know, if that sounds cool to you or not, but for me, I think that's cool as shit. Because I get so tired of the default camos that they put in the game and you know and then of course they add all these ones as micro DLC to purchase fuck that now I'm gonna be able to spend my free time creating how my gun's gonna look now off the start I'm probably gonna try to replicate something of the spectrum camo from Call of Duty Ghosts probably my favorite camo in any Call of Duty game so far and probably the only other thing I enjoyed from Call of Duty Ghost was just looking at the Spectrum camo. I don't know. I liked it, some people didn't, but whatever. I, yeah, I thought it looked cool. A rainbow colored zebra skin style. I mean, in my opinion, it looked awesome. So, those are the details that are known about Black Ops 3 right now. I mean, it's only April. It's only April 27th, and all this information is already out. That's how desperate Activision is to try to get some hype back into the Call of Duty series because everybody knows Ghost sucked. Everybody knows Advanced Warfare was nowhere near as good as it was supposed to be due to the skill-based matchmaking, a lot of launch issues and continuous issues, overpowered guns like the Speakeasy bowels you know whatever so we're getting to the end of the video here as you can see in the background i had a very very good game when the scoreboard pops up you'll actually be able to see it 
Um, they haven't talked about any multiplayer modes yet, any new multiplayer modes, anything like that. But I'm interested to see. There's a lot of time until November 6th. A lot of time. So expect over the next month or two, you know, some more information leaking out. And let's not forget that awesome pre-order bonus where if you pre-order the game, you're guaranteed access to participate in the Black Ops 3 beta. Um, personally, I think that's probably going to drop around August or September, just so Treyarch will have a little bit of time to mess with some of the fan feedback. So, we're coming to the close of the video here. Um, I hope I gave you some new information. I hope uh, you've enjoyed what I've had to say. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button, favorite, and subscribe. Midget out.